and then the power cord just sticks out here at the back and you can plug this into a separate uh, circuit in your shop so that okay so according to this individual all we have to do is route our power cords for a vacuum around our metal chassis and by doing so and making the wires neat essentially you're mitigating EMI well unfortunately guys it's not the case um, how it works is EMI radiates from cables and cables that aren't shielded. Well, we know shop vac cables aren't shielded. They're not designed for robotics use. So once again, you can refer to the document I posted earlier if you want to see what I'm talking about. It's all right there. Radiated EMI is the number one cause where we're transferring energy from cables to our electrical devices. And how do we do that? Usually through metal objects. What is our table made out of here? It's made out of metal. So if the chassis is made out of metal and it's conductive, all that dissipated energy in the air will become conductive to that chassis and therefore potentially destabilize your robot. Here's the moral of the story. Do it correctly. Think about what you're doing. If you're unsure, ask someone who really knows and do your homework on that someone. Don't sit there and take for granted somebody went online and did some research on a forum speaking to people that they have no idea who they are. None of you would most likely attempt to go online and get medical advice from someone claiming to be a doctor.